the system tray, also known as the Windows Notification Area, Peace has a menu which pops up by right-clicking on the Peace icon. The most used action of this menu is switching to a different configuration when the Peace interfaces are hidden by clicking the To Tray button on the main interface. This provides an easy way to switch between your configurations. But of course more can be done with this menu, which I show you later. First, I'll walk you through the switching of configurations. For that, the submenu is available containing all the configurations. So select the submenu and choose the configuration you want to have active. There might be a second submenu with configurations available for adding these on top of the main selected one. Such configurations can be, for instance, an upmix channel effect or an extra bus equalization besides the main one. These configurations are placed in the list available on the Active by Hotkey or System Tray tab of the automation window. I'm not going to explain this tab here. You might read the automation piece section of the manual to understand how this all works. This menu is accessed by clicking the Help button. Besides switching and adding configurations, other actions are available in the menu, such as popping up the effects panel, or increasing and decreasing the pre-amplifying, or muting it. But this menu item shouldn't be used much, as it's recommended to use the muting option available at the Windows volume slider. And, of course, there's a shown piece menu item to pop up the main piece interface. Although left-clicking the piece icon in the tray will also pop up the main interface. For convenience purposes, there's also a settings item for going to the piece settings and an exit item to close piece down. Remember that your configuration will always stay active even if piece isn't running. Equalizer APO takes care of that. The last menu item to show you is the force piece to main monitor one. This item needs some explaining. As piece has several windows, including the main one, think of the graph window and the automation window, you might have scattered them onto your monitors if you have a multi-monitor setup. But what happens when you switch off or disconnect one of them, which has one of the piece windows on it? This window can't be accessed any longer. To correct this, the force piece to the main monitor action places all piece windows onto the main monitor. 